work. Team 12's Michael Downer has been in Flagstaff covering these fires from the start. Michael, what are the latest conditions there? Yeah, I mean, it's still extremely windy. Evacuations are still in effect, but some people are taking advantage of the time right now. In fact, you see a line of cars behind me. Uh, these people are going to be escorted one by one, it looks like, by the Sheriff's Department back to their homes. It may only be for a minute or two just to try to grab some of those essentials, maybe some medicine, but it's the theme because as these evacuations have expanded because of these hot winds or high winds, well, they're it's just people hoping they can return home and have a home to return to at some point in time. Universal truth, never enough time or resources. All throughout Monday, firefighters battled high winds and new fires all around Flagstaff. Every potential fire source was a problem today. Combined, the pipeline and haywire fires burned more than 7,000 acres and placed more than 2,400 homes in evacuation zones. Doing this all over again, it's maddening. And these evacuations can feel like deja vu for some residents, a, a frustrating routine. And so we're well, well rehearsed, we know what to do, you know, the A, Bs and Cs are getting evacuated. It was just two months ago that the tunnel fire burned on the northeast side of Flagstaff, destroying homes. Now the pipeline fire is following a similar path, leaving families on edge. It's the not knowing, right? And you're feeling bad for your neighbors, but you're looking at all this and you're looking at the winds. Uh, you're hoping your property's okay, but you can't verify that. The good news here is that firefighters expect the winds to calm down over the next several days. This should allow aircraft to fly in and drop slurry, while firefighters on the ground are scheduled to get reinforcements from other states. As of this afternoon, um, this fire is the number one national prioritized fire, so number one in the nation. The goal here is contain the fire and protect people and property. And we're going to look for opportunities to be successful to stop this where we can. Now, those winds have not died down so far this evening, but the good news here is that so far, despite all the acres that have been burned, well, fire officials say only one structure has been destroyed by these fires so far. And of course, over the coming days, they hope to keep it that way. We're live in Flagstaff. Michael Doudna, 12 News.